Hello guys and welcome back to Current Technologies. I am Michael and this is part three of our Android paging uh, library example. In the previous two parts, we already finished the implementation of our application, but this part three, we're gonna do it to fix some bugs related to the UX, okay? So here, let's remember our application. It was a search engine for IT books. So here the app is running. Here we have a search box to type uh, an IT category to search with it. So here I will type Java, okay? And I will click search. And yes, here is the results for Java as an IT books. This is the results we're getting from the server. Okay, so far it's working perfect. But here is the case. What if we type here in the search box some meaningless word and we click search, what will happen? Probably there will not be uh, a matching result on the server for this meaningless word. And here, as you can see, it's an, a blank screen, which is not good as a user experience. Here, in this case, we want to display a message to the user telling it that there is no such results for this search instead of uh, just a blank screen. So how we're gonna do this? Maybe you'll think it's easy or simple, but no, it's a little bit tricky while implementing the paging library. It's a little bit tricky. So let's see how we're gonna do it. So first of all, open the XML file of the books list activity. Here we have in the view, we have the books list activity. Yes, activity books list. We have only the recycler view to display the list of books. Here we're gonna add also a text view. Text view, wrap content, wrap content. Let's give it an ID. Uh, we call it no results text. And we give it a text of no results found. And the text size will be 28 SP. And the layout gravity center. So here, let's go to the design to check. Yes, exactly. We will make this text visibility as gone. Okay. We want to show this text view only if the list, the books list is empty. So how we're gonna do this? Maybe some of you will think that it's easy by checking if here the books that is submitted to the recycler adapter, we will make a simple check if this books is, lim is empty or not. I already tried this before and it's not working, but let's prove it to you. Here, if books dot is empty, first of all, we need to define our text view, private. Text view, no results, text. Here we will find this text view by ID. It will find view by ID. 
और दो साई दी बुक नो रिजल्ट्स टेक्स हियर इज द बुक्स इज एम्प्टी वी विल ट्राई टू मेक दिस टेक्स ड्यू visible set visibility visible else we will submit the list to the adapter this will not work but let's try first so here I will restart my application. Here I will type Java and I will click search. I will wait for a while still no results found it's supposed to have a lot of results many results for java and we just tried a few minutes ago it was working fine but now it's showing no results which means that this books dot is empty is returning true why it's returning true because the mechanism that is used in the android paging library here this code is always triggered before our list or before our data is loaded in our list so whatever our data is available on the server or not this code will be triggered first so it will be always triggered while the books list is empty so this condition will always return true so it's not working that's the trick that i'm talking about so let's see the correct implementation to achieve this goal. I will just undo all these changes. I will keep the text view the same. I will just delete this check. Okay. Here there is a specific implementation for the Android paging library to check the list if it's empty or it load the first uh, item is already loaded or not and the last item is already loaded or not how we're gonna do this with some callbacks here in the live paged list builder in the live paged list builder there is some callbacks provided by android that helps you as a developer to determine if the list is empty or first item is loaded and last item is loaded. So what is this? It's called set boundary callback. New boundary callback. Here it gives you some uh, gives you the choice of the methods that you want to override. Here it gives you on zero item loaded on item at front loaded on item at end loaded we'll just implement on zero items loaded and on item at front loaded which is the most important method on item at front loaded actually it's the one working properly so we will select both of them and we will click ok So here on zero items loaded, it's supposed to be triggered if there is no data loaded from the server and our list size is zero. But I already tried this method, it's not working properly. So the one which is working properly is the on item at front loaded method. This method is triggered when the first item is loaded to our list. So here we're gonna check or this method will be the one telling us if our results is empty or not so let's try it here it's giving me error just i need to delete this line 
okay very good here we are in the view model class so here we cannot access the view in the activity so what we're gonna do how we're gonna use these methods here we have to implement or uh, declare a mutable live data of type boolean to make us determine if the list is empty or not so here I will declare mutable live data of the type boolean sorry boolean I will call it is list empty equal new mutable live data and here inside the constructor I will set value to this live data to me to make it true sorry true so so far the list is empty but here in the on item at front loaded method which means that we already loaded the first item in the results list or in the books list this means our list is not empty anymore so we will change the value of, of our uh, live data is list empty we will set the value to false on our activity we can observe this live data to determine the actions that we're gonna do with the view so let's go back to our books list activity no before we go back to the activity one more thing here in the view model we should create a getter method for the live data so here I will generate a getter for the is list empty live data yeah click ok we are done with the view model let's go back to the activity yeah below all this code we will observe the is list empty view model so here we have books list view model instance will help us to get is list empty dot observe pass this as a lifecycle owner and the new observer yeah here we have the boolean value if it's true or false and here we will say if a boolean which means the list is empty if it's true we will make the text view here visible uh, we'll change the visibility of this text view to make it visible because the list is empty and also we can make the recycler view visibility invisible else vice versa just copy these two lines and instead of showing the no results text view we will make it gone and we will make the visibility for the recycler view as visible to display the list of books that we got from the server now it's all done with our implementation let's restart our application and see the result so here in the text box i will type java give it a moment it will load the results yeah 
the list of books is loaded and the result is showing as you can see so now let's go back and change this Java to any other world that has no meaning and let's try again and see what will happen so no results found and it will be the same because we don't have any matching result on the server for this world let's go back and try again another world let's try android yeah it's loading the android books so yes guys we already fixed this uh, bug it gives a better user experience and it's showing you the trick of uh, uh, checking the uh, list in the uh, while implementing the android paging library checking the paged list that's all for this video i hope you like it and i hope it helpful for you if you find it helpful please like and share also subscribe to our channel and wait for me in the upcoming videos Happy coding.